74-year-old woman says she was the victim of a brazen armed robbery that happened in broad daylight in Oakland. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now after talking with her. And Amber, she says she is lucky to be alive. That's right, Julie. The victim tells me she was careful and aware of her surroundings, but that the thieves appeared suddenly. The crime was caught on camera. Surveillance video shows a black SUV pulls up to the corner of the street and backs up. Victim Way McElhatton walks along the sidewalk on East 12th Street. Shortly after, just as she steps off the curb between two cars, a man runs up behind her, holds a gun to her head, and tries to grab her purse from her shoulder. Oh my God, the gun right on my head already. And then I said to myself, I'm a dead duck. I'm, I don't think I can alive. A second man joins him and takes her purse. There is a struggle. The first man appears to grab something from Wei and hands it over to the second man. They pull me so hard until I hear the pop that I know that my necklace broken. Wei tells me one man pushes her and causes her to fall. The black SUV pulls up. Both thieves run into the waiting vehicle and it takes off. The attack and robbery happened Friday, shortly after 2 in the afternoon. Wei says she had just left a jewelry store. Her husband, Bill, was waiting in their car parked across the street. I saw her fighting them, and she called my name. And so I started the car and just put it in ramming gear. I was just going to go over there and slam into them, and they were gone. Wei says she's grateful to have survived with only a bruise to her knee. She right here and said, thank God for that. I didn't, he didn't kill me. She says that in her purse was her keys, cash, jewelry, ID, and bank cards. But the item she cherished most is this jade Buddha, a good luck charm she's worn for decades since 1994. The thieves yanked it from her neck. That is a, a custom made, and I will really want to get back to my, my Yuri. Wei is a Buddhist and credits the charm with keeping her safe on many occasions, including the robbery. He could shoot me, he could hit me, he could do a lot of things, but my God, that my Buddha helped me. He helped me until now I want him back. Wei immigrated to the U.S. in 1973 with her husband who served in the U.S. Army. She refuses to give up hope that she'll get her pendant back. I work hard for it. I work for 30 years for this country. Anyone who sees the pendant should contact Oakland police. The couple tells me they couldn't get a good look at the two men. They wore facial coverings and gloves, and it happened in a matter of seconds. Julie? Yeah, just a horrible story. Our hearts go out to her, and hopefully she gets that necklace back and they find who's responsible. Amber, thank you.